I've never told anybody this before, but at the beginning of last year, I started using Regain on my hair. As you're watching this video, I'm guessing you probably already know what Regain is. It's called Rogaine in America. But if not, it's just this foam that you apply to your scalp twice a day that's designed to stop you losing hair and regrow hair that you've already lost. I'm making this video about my experience with hair loss and using Regain for two reasons. Number one, I felt quite embarrassed about hair loss and about using Regain, which is why I kept it secret and didn't tell anyone. That is literally the definition of a secret, isn't it, you idiot? But feeling embarrassed made an already difficult situation much harder. I figure the more people talk openly about hair loss and about the stuff they're doing to fight it, the less there'll be a kind of taboo around it and the less people will feel embarrassed about it. Kevin, what prescription drugs are you taking besides Rogaine? I'm not taking Rogaine. And the second reason for this video is that when I was deciding whether to try using Regain, I watched a ton of video reviews, but they all seemed a bit fishy to me. Most of them had affiliate links in their description and a lot of their results seemed too good to be true. How do you know if any of this stuff is true? What do you mean? How do you know someone didn't just make it up? What? You mean just lie? You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? I just mean that some of the details... Oh, I never thought of that. This is terrible. What if none of it's true? What if they're all lying? How would we ever know? Now, obviously, you've got no reason to trust me any more than anybody else on the internet, but if you use the code TRUSTROB, you'll get 15% of the first order of Regain. No, look, you make up your own mind whether to trust me or not. I know that I'm telling the truth about my experience with Regain, and that's all I can do. So let's get into it. Don't for a second think that because I'm making this video, I've overcome all my fears and insecurities about hair loss. That isn't the case at all. I know there are some guys who just aren't bothered by it. They'll shave their head um, at the first sign of any hair loss and they just don't give it a second thought. They wouldn't even consider using something like Regain. And obviously, yeah, more power to them, but I would say that they're probably in the minority and I'm definitely not one of them. For me, the reality that I was losing my hair was horrible. I felt like I was gonna look much uglier without hair. I know I'm not a supermodel even with hair, but I'm not ugly and I genuinely felt, and still do to be honest, that without any hair, I'm gonna look pretty butters. You're not gonna love me as much because I'm ugly and bald. No. And the timing of it made it even worse. I always thought that if I did lose my hair, it would be when I was kind of settled down, you know, married with children. Um, but I'd actually broken up with my girlfriend of seven years. So I was facing the reality of being single as a bald man and thinking that nobody would ever fancy me. Hey, come on, this sexy bald, like, um... I felt like a lot of women just completely disregard bald guys. I know you've got people like The Rock, Bruce Willis and Jason Statham, but they are The Rock, Bruce Willis and Jason Statham. You get used to looking a certain way, being a certain level of attractiveness, and then through no fault of your own, you have to accept that that's all gonna change. It is a horrible feeling. There aren't many things that change your appearance more than going from having hair to having no hair. Maybe a full face tattoo, but that's not exactly top of my to-do list. And it's not just about being single and the way that members of the opposite sex might see you. You feel like having no hair is gonna change the way everybody you meet views you in work and, well, just in everyday life. So you decide to try and do something about it and then you end up feeling even more embarrassed about that. Like wearing a wig, having a hair transplant, using stuff like Regain, they've always been things that men are embarrassed about generally and try and hide, but why? It's not embarrassing for women to wear makeup, is it? And how is this any different? It's not embarrassing to shave, to wash, to use deodorant. Those are all things that we do to basically artificially make ourselves look and smell better than we would naturally. So why is using a hair loss product any different to that? And why be embarrassed about hair loss in the first place? It's a completely normal thing that affects two thirds of men by the time they're 35 and 85% of men by the time they're 50. Hair loss also affects 40% of women by the age of 40. I'm not saying that hair loss is this fantastic natural thing and we should all just embrace it. For a lot of people, myself included, it's really hard to deal with. So if you decide to try and do something about it, don't feel embarrassed about that. Except that it's just one more thing that people do to make themselves look and feel better. Which brings me on to... For me, no, Regain didn't work at all. I used the extra strength 5% foam um, you're supposed to use it twice a day and I genuinely don't think I missed a single application throughout the whole time. 
Here are some photos that I took throughout the year. As you can see, at no point did it get any better. And here is my head now. Can you see that? Not great, is it? Um, I wasn't actually expecting Regain to work. You know, it's a phone that you put on your head twice a day and it costs about 15 pounds a month. If that worked, then people wouldn't be spending thousands of pounds having like surgical hair transplants and there probably wouldn't be as many bald people around if it actually worked. But I decided it was just worth a try anyway. Obviously, I can't say that Regain won't work for you. It might work for some people, but my gut feeling is that you need to manage your expectations, particularly if you're watching those kind of review videos that make it seem too good to be true. Almost every video that I found had these really positive results. I hardly found anybody who just said, yeah, I've used it for ages and it hasn't done anything. But all of these videos seem to have these like affiliate links where you could buy a regain and kind of, you know, get some money off and obviously they would get a kickback. It just seemed a bit suspicious. And there were loads of common tricks that I noticed whereby the before shot of, oh, look how bald I was, was with like soaking wet hair, which made it look much thinner. And then the after shot of, oh, look how great it is after using Regain for a few months, was with dry hair, with better lighting, sometimes a better angle, so it looked way better. And some of them weren't even showing you the top of their head in the video. Like if I'd used Regain and managed to give myself a full head of hair again, you wouldn't be able to stop me showing it off. I'd be walking around like this 24-7. Yeah, mate, great. You've seen my hair. Yeah, yeah, it looks good, yeah. There was one guy I found whose video had had over half a million views and he was a hashtag Rogaine partner. He was talking about Rogaine is amazing, how he's never going to stop using it. Um, he literally said, and I wrote this down, get yourself Rogaine and never stop using it. But he never showed the top of his head in the video that he was making talking about the amazing results. Like, you just would, wouldn't you? That was about two years ago, so I checked out some of his recent videos and he's pretty much completely bald now. And as far as I could see, he's never mentioned Rogaine again. Well, I should take the money and run, man. It does piss me off because these guys, they're preying on insecurity. Like when you're losing your hair, you're desperate to find something that works. I don't know, I don't want to be too cynical, but I feel like there are a lot of snake oil salesmen around when it comes to hair loss products and it's not just that they could be encouraging people to spend money based on fake results which is bad enough but regain has some possible side effects including severe scalp irritation blurred vision dizziness fainting fast or irregular heartbeat headaches numbness or tingling in your face hands or feet swelling in your face hands legs or feet and rapid weight gain that all sounds lovely so some of these transformation videos which i'm pretty certain are fake could be encouraging people to risk those side effects based on false information. That's just not right. Now I've got to say, I was aware of those side effects before I decided to start using Regain. I just basically decided it was worth the risk. Um, and I didn't experience any side effects at all, but all of these super positive videos, they didn't even mention the possible side effects. I'm not at all trying to talk you out of using Regain. Just because it hasn't worked for me, it might well work for you. And if it had worked for me, I'd still be using it now. I just want people to make the decision of whether to use Regain or not based on sort of logic rather than the emotion and insecurity which people can prey on. Anyway, it hasn't worked for me, so sooner or later, I'll just have to accept the inevitable and shave my head Maybe I'll record that when I do, just in case anybody wants to watch a grown man crying into his bathroom sink. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful, and I'll see you in the future.